Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video I'm going to show you the options for finder scopes. Uh, all of our telescopes come with a basic finder, uh, either a little optical finder like this 6x30 on top of our Space Probe 130, or you have a reflex sight, a zero power finder with a little heads-up display that shows a little dot floating in the sky. There's advantages to both, so I'll run you through the differences and uh, what options are available in each. In an optical finder, uh, it's, it's like a telescope itself. It sucks in more light than your eyes see. So this, uh, the one that comes with the Space Probe 130 is a 6x30, 6 power, and a 30 millimeter diameter lens in the front. The bigger the lens, the more light it lets in. Um, a 6x30 is great for locating uh, the moon, planets, some of the brighter deep sky objects. But like the main telescope itself, a bigger one does suck in more light and allows you to see a bit more. So if you were trying to find the deep sky objects through the finder, uh, as well as the main scope, a bigger finder can help. This is an 8x40. Uh, we have them up to 9x50 in the standard sizes. So like I said, just like a telescope, the bigger one pulls in more light, allows you to see a bit more of the, the faint deep sky objects. If you're in the city, you're probably not going to be seeing much of those uh, in the finder anyways. So usually you'd be using the finder just for locating the moon, the planets, and then maybe if you know exactly where a deep sky object is in between two naked eye stars, you'll, you'll uh, put the finder between those. There's a crosshair in each of these, so it makes it easy to find. There's another type of optical finder, a right angle. It's, just, it's basically the same thing, but with a different angle on the back. So the standard one is straight through. You'll get behind it and look up in the sky that way. With a right angle, it's a little bit more comfortable on your neck. So when you're pointing straight overhead, you're going to be looking sideways through the, the finder. And there's also two versions of uh, the uh, uh, illumination. The standard one does not illuminate the crosshairs. Uh, if you're in the city and there's a lot of light pollution, you'll probably see the crosshairs silhouetted against the, the background sky. But if you take the scope camping with you and it's a nice dark sky site, th those lines disappear. So in this case, this is an illuminated version of our right angle finder scope. So with little batteries in here, it lights up the crosshairs. You see them glowing red against the background. makes it very easy to see. Another type of finder is the reflex sight. This is the easy finder. It's basically a zero power uh, reflex sight, like I said. It, it operates on a totally different principle. Whereas the 6x30 is an optical telescope with magnification and a lens, this is just a little floating red dot. The, there's a little LED pinhole in the little square here. It shines this way into the flat window, and then you see reflecting off of that window the little dot. So when I look through this, I just see a dot floating in the night sky. Um, the advantage of an easy finder or a reflex sight like this is there's no magnification. So it matches up with your star charts. Uh, so let's say you're trying to star hop and you've got uh, uh, the Andromeda galaxy as your target. And you notice on the star chart that it's right next to two stars, pretty much uh, equally spaced between the stars. Well, you can't see the, the galaxy possibly from wherever you're uh, viewing from naked eye, but you know exactly where to place the dot in line with those other stars on the telescope. So when you look through this, uh, the, the low power eyepiece, it'll be right there. A very simple way to uh, locate objects. It won't help you if you're trying to see the object itself because this does not magnify or suck in more light than an optical finder does. But believe me, for star hopping, it's very easy to use a, a zero power reflex sight. Now, like I said, there's advantages to both. The, the ease of star hopping with a zero power finder, the uh, light application, amplification and magnification of an optical finder. So you sort of have to pick which you like better. But that's not actually necessarily true. You can actually use both of them. If you get something like our dual finder bracket, you can use the best of both worlds. Simply place on the bracket here and then slide your optical finder, whatever size you like, and the easy finder. It might look a little large, but it actually really helps because now you can use it to start up quickly. And if you're having a problem with, with an object that's not near any bright stars that the easy finder may uh, not be very good at finding, you can use the optical finder to magnify and enhance the light. Whichever finder you choose, make sure you carefully align the finder to the main telescope. Remember, when you set this up and you put the finder on, it will not be pointed to the exact same thing. So use the adjustment screws, align the finder to the object that you're looking at, and then you can use it to find things in the night sky. Well, there you have it, a bunch of different choices for finders based on personal preference and what you actually like to look at, um, from ranging from a very small 6x30 up to 9x50, the zero power reflex sight, there's, there's a lot to choose from. 
All right, thank you very much. Clear skies.